Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Educational Reel. In this tutorial, I will tell you about FCL. FCL stands for Framework Class Library. .NET Framework Class Library is the collection of classes, namespaces, interfaces and value types that are used for .NET applications. The base class library is the core of the FCL and provides basic functionalities. FCL contains thousands of classes that support the following functionalities. Base and user defined data types. Support for exception handling, input output and stream operations, communication with the underlying system, access to data, ability to create Windows based GUI application, ability to create web client and service application support for creating web services. PCL that is the main part of FCL contains system, system.data, system.xml, system.drawing, system.web, system.windows.com. System contains collection, IO, configuration, net, diagnostic, reflection, globalization, resources, security, runtime, service process, interop service, tax, remoting, threading, serialization. System.data contain OL, EDB, SQL client, common SQL types. System.xml contain X, SLT, X path, serialization. System.web contains services that are description, discovery, protocols. Also contain UI that has HTML controls and web controls, catching, security, configuration, and session state. System of Windows forms contain design and component model. System of drawing contain drawing 2D, printing, imaging, text. In detail, I will explain the namespaces. So the first comes system. It includes all common data type, string values, array, and method for data conversion. Second, that is system.data, system.data.common, system.data.oledb, system.data.sql client, and system.data.sql types. These are used to access a database, perform commands on a database, and retrieve databases third system.io system.directory services system.io isolated storage these are used to access read and write files system.diagnostic it is used to debug and trace the execution of an application system.net system.net sockets these are used to communicate over the internet when the creating peer-to-peer -peer applications. System.windows.forms System.windows.forms design These namespaces are used to create Windows-based applications using Windows user interface component. Now system.web, system.web catching, system.web.ui, system.web.ui design, system.web.ul web control, system.web.ui HTML control, system.web.configuration, system.web.hosting, system.web.mail, system.web.session state. These are used to create ASP.NET web application that runs over the web. Now system.web services, system.web services description, system.web services configuration, system.web services discovery, system.web services protocol. These are used to create XML web services and component that can be published over the web. Now system.security, system.security.permission, system.security policy, system.web security, system.security cryptography these are used for authentication authorization and encryption purposes now system.xml system.xml schema system.xml 
serialization system dot xml dot x path system dot xml access l these name spaces are used to create and access xml files hope this video will help you although if you have any question please text me thank you for watching the video have a nice day bye